In class, I promised another uh, example of finding a method of moments estimator, and so uh, this video is meant to do that. So we've got a random sample from a gamma distribution with parameters alpha and beta, and the goal is to find uh, the method of moments estimators for both alpha and for beta. So in this example, I suggested in class that maybe it would be a good idea to equate the first moment and then the second centralized moment. And uh, let's do that. So for the first moments, we can, um, so mu1 population moment uh, equal to m1, the first sample moment, is the same as alpha over beta is equal to x bar, right? Alpha over beta is the mean of a gamma distribution. X bar is always the sample mean. And this would suggest that we can set alpha equal to beta times x bar. Now the problem with this as an estimator is that we don't know beta. Right, beta is also an unknown parameter and we need to estimate it. So the way that we would go about that is to use the second moment as a way of trying to find uh, beta itself. And the reason why I suggest going with the second centralized moment is because we already know what the second centralized moment is. It's the variance for the, for the population. So we would set the variance, population variance, alpha over beta squared, equal to the second um, centralized sample moment. So 1 over n times the sum of the xi's minus x bar squared. And the goal here is to uh, solve for beta using what we know about alpha. So this should be equivalent to uh, beta over x bar divided by beta squared. And the reason for that is because we know that alpha is equal to beta times x bar, and so we plug it in there in for alpha. And all of that is equal to uh, 1 over n times the sum of those deviances. And then of course the beta cancels with one of the betas in the denominator and you'll just have x bar over beta is equal to 1 over n times the sum of those deviances. And I'll skip those few little intermediate steps. You should get n times x bar over the sum of the deviances squared uh, as your method of moments estimator for beta. And then that implies that your method of moments estimator for alpha should be um, the method of moments estimator for beta uh, times x bar. And if you wanted to plug that in, that would be n times now x bar squared over the sum of xi minus x bar squared. So it's important to notice that each of these method of moments estimators, right, the one for alpha and the one for beta, everything here you can calculate from a sample. Right, x bar you get from a sample, square it, n is the sample size, that you know. Each of the x's you get from your sample, again, x bar, uh, a sample quantity. Same thing down here, everything is from a sample. So if we're uh, deriving an estimator, you should always be able to calculate uh, the estimator from sample quantities or other things that we say are known. So another version of this problem could be calculate a method of moments estimator for alpha when beta is known. 
And that would be really simple. You would stop at this point here because, again, x bar is a sample quantity, so you can calculate it. And then in that case, beta would be known. But in this more complicated version, where beta is unknown, we have to use the second moments or second centralized moments, and then solve and make sure that we get everything in terms of quantities we can compute, namely no unknown parameters in the estimators.